caught these two, my lord. Only two? What about the others? I don't know, my lord. Oh, they must have got away, confound it. Good luck, Tom. Be quiet, lord. My orders were to round up the whole lot of them. Well, I'm finished. Yeah, I said that's enough. Well, yeah, stop that, Jack Warner. I'll blow thee to pieces. Now sit a bit. My mistake's been trying to deal with this rabble myself. I should have sent with the militia long before now. Tie him up! I was delivered a note. Aye. What's his lordship saying? Out? Shouldn't think it were too well pleased. Happen I should have gone myself. Explained. In top is his name. Now it's stapled. I'll fetch him to thee. To see for that one? Thanks, Luke. That's a real thoughtful one. Ah, uh, Luke. I want to have a word with Stevenson about this meeting. Oh, he's, he's near workshop, your lordship. No, where is he? Down pit. One does arrange for visitors to see demonstration. But what about meeting, my lord? Well, in my opinion, it should be called off. And all this uncontrolled violence, we have no right to subject these men to such danger. Mr. Stevenson don't see any danger. He doesn't. And I'm fair disappointed he is if meeting doesn't take place. Why? He got to show off his latest engine. Ha, that's somewhat selfish reasoning. Not if he's convinced they'll come to Nay Harm, your lordship. You're convinced, you say? Aye. Yeah, so seems to always enjoy my complete trust on his own headbeard. However, be sure to tell him what I said. Aye. I will. Oh, Doctor, you can't be serious. You've only just escaped from there. Victim returns to the scene of the crime. Look, Doctor, let's be sensible. Concentrate on getting the TARDIS out of the pit shaft instead of shoving our necks into the noose again. Mm. Look, what if the Master and that awful Ronnie are inside? They won't be. How can you be so sure? Cowards die many times before their deaths. The Valiant never taste of death but once. And what about that other piece you're so fond of quoting? Hmm? Discretion is the better part of valor. Hmm. Interesting fellow, the bard. Must see him again sometime. Aha. <laughs> Control panel. Most unsophisticated, not worthy of the Rani. The Rani's handiwork. The Rani. Yes, of course. The mark of the Rani. By Pip and Jane Baker, starring Kate O'Mara. I think the setting is the Industrial Revolution. And the Masters involved along the way as well. Uh, so we've got two... Time Lord villains in this one. The Rani was a wonderful character, a chemist, um, full of wonderful campery, I thought, played to perfection by um, Kate O'Mara. Uh, Perry looking very uh, uh, periodical in that, uh, that outfit. Uh, I think the chap we saw um, earlier in the scene was... George Stevenson and the rather handsome guy was was Luke um, and there's obviously some kind of plot going on I think Luke has been taken over or hypnotized by the master um, trying to prevent some kind of meeting uh, I believe the Rani had taken over the planet um, Maya Simiagoria I don't know how I remember that. <laughs> That's a very random fact. And she's come to Earth to try and extract um, a fluid from humans that uh, robs them of the power to sleep and makes them rather violent and unstable. Uh, I think that's the main crux of the plot. Other things I remember about this is I think somebody gets turned into a tree. Uh, might be Luke. 
at the hands of the Rani. Uh, but to, nice to see um, another character from the Doctor's own race. I don't think we'd had another one, apart from the Time Lords, of course, um, for some time. Um, and the Master, and uh, then I think we're probably going back to uh, the time of the meddling monk. So, yeah, nice to have a female Time Lord or Time Lady uh, villain or villainess. Oh, dear. Got to be so politically correct these days. <laughs>